Marshall back with you on LV Television, and uh, they put me to work. They said that my producer wasn't going to get my six-figure salary together, so they put me to work laying tiles, and this is about the most I've laid of anything in a long time, to be honest with you. Okay, we're here with Bill Marshall, and we're going to ask him a few questions. First question, of course, Mr. Bill Marshall is a... Uh, yes, Oscar. <laughs> How and when did you get started? I got started in radio in 1989. I was a little bit older, but, uh, you know, all, girls always told me I had a nice deep voice, so I thought I'd give it a shot. It's that simple. Okay. <laughs> What, what, in Muskegon, you've been just Muskegon mainly, right, as far as radio stations? For the most part, yeah. yeah. West Michigan, but mostly Muskegon. And uh, can you tell us where you started at? I started at WCXT in Hart, Michigan, working for the Waters family up there when they were light rock. And I was there for about a year and then uh, came into Muskegon, went to work for the oldies, was there for a few years. And as you know, Oscar, most of us that have been around here have pretty much worked at every radio station there is. And I think with the exception of country, I think I've done every format. Can you uh, tell me about some of your favorite people from the past, besides me, of course? Besides Oscar Osbo yeah. and, uh, of course, Peter Tripp was just a really great guy to work with. But No, just a lot of friends. I've got a lot of friends that uh, I've met through the years and you know, Mike Murphy, Dan Vandermeid back in the day, Nancy Waters, Mark Waters were good people to work with. Um, I don't have anybody that's my favorite. Love the boat, man. I loved working with him, Andy O. Uh, that was always a blast working with him as well. A lot of people. Pam Roberts worked with her for a number of years. To say specifically that there's one person that I like better than anybody else, probably not the case. I think the positive is I don't really have any enemies in the business, which is something that not a lot of people can say in radio. So, But uh, there's people I haven't even mentioned. Brian Thomas, Lynn Grant, just a bunch of different people who I have uh, loved working with over the years. Now, as far as any good stories, you got any really good stories you want to share that you can, that you can share? Good stories. Well, let's just say without uh, using too many words, I'm glad I did not use my real name in radio. How about that? One of the, you know, you're in a town this size, there's really not a lot of crazy stuff that happens, but you do on occasion get listeners who can be a bit overzealous. And I've, without going into any details, I've had that happen a few times. Okay. All right, well, anything else you want to say as far as radio? I, you know, it's been uh, great, man. I've uh, done it for 33 years now, and I haven't had to grow up, and uh, <laughs> that's the best part. And I love where I am now. Muskegon's 100.9. i got a wonderful boss. This is a great, great place to work. And uh, to finish off my career, which is what I pretty much figure I'm doing at this point in time, I couldn't uh, be at a better place. Love what I'm doing. It's just great to be back in community radio here, locally, live, doing radio. Really enjoying it. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't put it up chest high for us there, man. Let me, let me. One, two.